Some people are born with their head in the clouds. Nobody knows why or how it starts, but somewhere along the way, they discover a passion for flying. And once it happens, it stays with them for a lifetime. To these people, we make this standing invitation. Look into Mountain View College Aviation. Mountain View College's aviation program offers career training in many areas of aviation, including professional pilot. If you're someone who finds it difficult to keep your feet firmly planted on the ground, we welcome you. Keep your head in the clouds at Mountain View College. College's opening day, fall 1970, and the first Mountain View College students are greeted by classes held in tents and trailers because of construction setbacks on the new campus. But the collective efforts of leadership, faculty, and staff, as well as the pioneering students and community, would not be stopped. Problems that might have been insurmountable opening day became instead the college's first success story, one of countless more to come. Mountain View College was already, on that fall day, a force to be reckoned with. Like waves set in motion 40 years ago, Mountain View College's influence still moves outward, refusing to be contained to the borders of the campus. I represent all the students of Mountain View in saying simply, thank you for a pretty far out school. Distinguished Lecture Series, we've had ambassadors, Pulitzer Prize winners, literary giants. The United uh, States President. The United States President. Uh, we've had a lot of famous people come through this performance hall and speak to our students. And no generation has had a better illustration of the wisdom of the separation of the powers of government among the different departments than our generation has had in the Watergate affair. If all of the powers of government had been concentrated in one department of government, and that department had failed us, then the entire government would have collapsed. But as it was when the President of the United States proved uh, unfaithful to his constitutional obligation to take care that the laws be faithfully executed, Congress and the federal courts remained faithful to theirs. Guy, what is our Distinguished Lecture Series really meant to our students? Well, you know, Jeff, we live in an information age where our students are really bombarded with all kinds of issues they have to think about, worry about, try to uh, determine what their own attitude and opinion is going to be, their own belief. I think people that they've heard in this performance hall, people that they admire, people that they really see as as, as famous and, a, and, and somewhat an authority. Uh, what, they, what they often say, uh, the advice that they give, are words that uh, our students oftentimes remember for the rest of their lives. One reporter would call it that splendid little war, the Spanish-American War of 1898, that gave us Teddy Roosevelt charging up San Juan Hill were the Rough Riders. But where are our heroes today when we need them so badly? Hello, I'm Jeff Grimes. Welcome to Kiva. And on our program today, we'll be joined by people who have made a difference. We'll explore the American hero today on Kiva. 
Welcome back to Kiva. Hello, I'm Jeff Grimes, your host on today's program, and joining us on Kiva today is our special guest, Dr. Samuel Proctor, former professor of Rutgers University, the Martin Luther King Jr. Professor Emeritus and former pastor, retired pastor of Abyssinian Baptist Church. Dr. Proctor, welcome back to Dallas. It's nice to have you. Thank you. I'm delighted to be here. Well, it's nice to have you once again with us, and also with us on our program is philosophy professor Mary Stubb. Mary, it's so nice to have you on Kiva. Welcome. Thank you. Dr. Proctor, is the hero dead? Is the hero an extinct species? At times when it seems as though, particularly in an election year, when no one seems to be able to, to catch that edge, when we need someone who can make a difference economically, socially, politically, military, militarily, where are our heroes? What is the hero? I think the first uh, qualification here is selflessness, one who is able to, to have a sufficient uh, interest in something worthwhile to, uh, to forget one's own safety and one's own security and uh, one's own future and uh, thrust oneself into the fray uh, to make whatever difference that uh, that person can make.
heaven Nor the fifty thousand Nor the Romans Nor the Jews Nor Judas Nor the twelve Nor the priests Nor the scribes Nor doom Jerusalem itself Understand at all Understand Important, but to keep you vultures happy, I shall flog him. Good morning. I need to explain to you why I am behind bars and not with you. Materials have been distributed to you, and there's an email from Dr. Winwick. In 2002-2003, we are going to have the visit of SAC. So it is important for us to adopt a fourth priority. It's an interesting thing how when you're having such a good time, time wise, the very idea that I am in this room for the 20th year is astonishing to me because I well remember when I got the invitation to become the choir director at Mountain View College. I was teaching in Germany and I got a letter talking about Mountain View College. I couldn't imagine where the mountain was. So that was my first question, where is this place? I was told that it was in Oak Cliff, and I said, I want the job. I had taught in Oak Cliff a long time before ever going to Germany, and I came to Mountain View College, and I was amazed. Our first meeting was in a church, then I came to the campus, and it wasn't finished. And we had all these tents and all these trailers out there. But what I saw in registration were faces that I knew, a lot of faces that I knew, and I had seen them last in a junior high school choir, before I went to Germany. And so here was my entire choir coming through, enrolling in Mountain View. We, I recruited every one of them on the spot. So our first choir was like 75 people. It was fantastic, the very idea. And we started off in the circus tent. It was wonderful. What's happened through the years? Oh, some of the most phenomenal memories you can imagine. We have sung with the Dallas Symphony. We have sung with the North Texas Symphony. We have had choir concerts. We have serviced this community and the city of Dallas with our magical singers. We had a group 
a gospel singing group that was a black group that sang the black gospel style of music. And as they themselves said, we're going to let that church out. And we did. We have sung in many, many churches in the Oak Cliff area and even to North Dallas, which was quite a kick. Today, we still are hanging on by our fingernails in the music department at Mountain View College because between Mark Heddle and I, I think you wouldn't find that much love anywhere else in the world. We love it, and we're very excited to be starting this anniversary year. We think that we've got the finest music program anywhere that you can find, and we believe in it a lot, and our students do very well when they leave us. So I'm tickled to be here, and I'm tickled I've been here for 20 years. I wouldn't be anywhere else. The most comprehensive training program for the aspiring actor is available here, the Performing Artist Musical Theater Conservatory at Mountain View College. Two years of extensive training in acting for the stage, musical theater, all forms of dance, film and television acting, PAMTC training also covers the business end of becoming a working actor, from audition techniques to obtaining an agent. The PAMTC is a complete, all-encompassing training program. So well designed, in fact, that all you need to supply is hard work and a dream. The Performing Artist Musical Theater Conservatory at Mountain View College. Call for audition times and dates. Every little step he takes One Thrilling combination Every move that he makes One smile and suddenly Nobody else will do You know you'll never be lonely with you Forget the rest For the guy is second best To none Son Ooh Son Give him your attention Do I Really have to mention His love Whoa.
the March of Dimes haunted house is opening its doors once again this year. Come, visit our sophisticated and cultured friends. They are well-groomed, energetic, musical, eager to serve you, courteous. We're all just everyday, ordinary people. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Your choice to pursue a college education is one of the most important of your life. Education grows as you do, is a part of who you are forever. There is no doubt that your life will be altered in innumerable ways now that you've begun this path. Your decision to attend Mountain View College has placed you on such a path, and the success you achieve here is extremely important, not only to you, but to the faculty and staff of Mountain View College. We want your college career to be as challenging and rewarding as possible. But first, there are a few important facts you must know about Mountain View College and college in general. Some of this information might seem as dry as toast, but hang in there. We'll try to make this as painless as possible. College. There are a few things you need to remember when dealing with TASP. First of all, if you get a letter from the TASP office, do not ignore it. Read it. Do whatever it tells you to do. The task coordinator does not send out letters that aren't important. Secondly, TASP is governed by pretty strict laws, and if you don't comply with TASP regulations, you can be withdrawn from some or all of your classes. So please work with us and follow the rules and regulations. The college does not want to have to drop anyone from their classes, but they will if they have to. Don't worry too much about deciding on a major. Mountain View College is designed so that you can take your basic studies freshman and sophomore courses, and then transfer to a four-year university. Your registration process is not complete until you've paid for your courses. Mountain View College has several options for payment. Pay with cash, credit card, or check in full, or speak to the cashier about our payment plan. Pay by financial aid or loan. If you've already applied for financial aid, stop by the financial aid office after leaving your advisor to ensure all paperwork has been completed. And if so, your aid will kick in prior to the payment date of your classes. With concern to scholarships, see your financial aid advisor. Here's the bad news. If your classes are not paid for by the date on your registration bill, your classes will be dropped off the system and you will have to begin the process again. After paying for your classes, you must obtain a student ID. The ID is required of all Mountain View College students, whether it's a summer school or a regular long semester. 
You may be asked to present your student ID at any time while on school property. You must have your ID when taking tests in the testing center or borrowing a book from the library. You're now ready for the first day of classes. And we welcome you to Mountain View College. We look forward to helping you with your educational growth. going all the way around the side. But one of the worst cases I've seen in all my years in the business. That's true, boss. That's true. Uh, it just makes my skin crawl to think people can be so brutal. He showed him no mercy. Boss! Boss! Lay off the 50 sticks. Ah! Okay, you see a little more. If only we could find some clues. Hmm. I was I was hiking. I mean, God, I that's ridiculous. That can't possibly implicate me. I'm sorry. That's no good. No. I don't accept that. I did not do this thing. This is ridiculous. No way in this world did I do that. Why would I hurt somebody that I care about? Doesn't make any sense. I didn't do it. Absolutely did not do it. The You Are Cool affirmation card I knew had to come from Tom Dodge former instructor at Mountain View College. 
and the coolest guy in Montezuma. Well, I know on the surface that this looks incriminating, but there are at least 40,000 people who have such a such a card. Uh, on any given Sunday in the L.A. Coliseum, there could be 40,000 cool people uh, in one one day, and 1.4% uh, of the entire population is cool. I, I regret doing it, actually. Uh, but he threatened to expose the fact that I had been going to church for a year. You might as well confess. I know you did it. So I did it. The son of a bitch didn't like my smoking. He didn't like about me and I just kept hitting him with that knife. Couldn't help myself, couldn't stop. So he's dead. Good riddance. Just like I remember it. Farm and Hammer United World College. Only this time they give me a call, all hysterical, and tell me there's zombies running around the campus. And they want me, Jack Action, the effective detective, to take care of it for them. Boss, thought you lost them things. Uh, I thought you were going to the PS8. Pixie Sticks Anonymous? Yeah. Yeah, I did. It helped for a while, but stress of the job, you know. Just say no, boss. Just say no. A year ago, I was here. A fellow by the name of Paul Benson. Hacked to death with a butter knife. Oh. Stabbed over 742 times. Not a pretty sight. Oh. Now they tell me some UFOs come down and brought him back from the dead. He's making zombies. Making zombies. I tell you, it's these artsy-fartsy people. They come up here once a year to get away from their drab lives and their imaginations just run away with them. It's all hysteria, Fox. Don't worry about it, dude.
Well, if there are zombies here, I'm out of here. You don't pay me enough to be eaten up by no zombies. You know that? I don't play with the undead. Do you hear me? I'm out of here, okay? Let me see one zombie. Just one zombie, okay? You and me now. What was it? Come out here, I don't see any evidence of any zombies. You see any zombies? No, but it looks like zombie country to me. It's your imagination. There's no such thing as zombies. Come on, I'll prove it.
does been a very satisfactory case. Can't you promise any hope? I can promise something more startling than hope. What? By tomorrow, Sir Henry, either the curse of the Baskervilles will be broken, or... Or? Or? Someone in this room will be dead. <laughs> R.L. Thornton, spot number one. I am R.L. Thornton, Jr., chairman of the board of the Dallas County Junior College District. Two outstanding new colleges will be open in Dallas this September, Eastfield College in the Mesquite Garland area and Mountain View College in Oak Cliff. Both will offer low-cost, high-quality education. I encourage you to take advantage of the excellent opportunities these fine new colleges will provide. For telephone listings of Eastfield College and Mountain View College, check the Dallas Telephone Directory. R.L. Thornton, spot number two. I am R.L. Thornton, Jr., chairman of the board of the Dallas County Junior College District. For just a moment, I would like to talk to the young men and women who are seriously thinking about their future education. Two outstanding new colleges, Eastfield College and Mountain View College, will be opening in Dallas County this September, offering quality education at low cost. Whether you want to pursue a four-year degree or go right into business or industry, these two fine institutions will give you the preparation you need. Let me invite you to consider attending Eastfield or Mountain View College this fall. For telephone listings of Eastfield College and Mountain View College, check the Dallas Telephone Directory. Dale Douglas, spot number one. This is Dale Douglas, president of Mountain View College. This new college, located at 4849 West Illinois in Oak Cliff, will open this September. Offerings include day and evening classes in regular transfer credit courses, technical occupational programs, and short-term non-credit courses. If you are interested in securing an excellent college education, consider Mountain View College. For information, call 746-2153. Dale Douglas, spot number four. This is Dale Douglas, president of Mountain View College. Don't deprive yourself of a college education just because you think you cannot afford it. Mountain View College, located in Oak Cliff, will offer you an excellent education at a very reasonable cost. Fall classes are available in freshman courses transferable to four-year colleges or universities. Special training and retraining courses will also be offered in business and industrial fields. Consider Mountain View College for your college education and better prepare for a successful future. Applications are now being accepted for Mountain View College. For information, call 746-2153.
Share by the 